Lots of opportunities in that line of himself along with Matthew Shane and Jason Dale seeing the bulk of the ice time in the opening 20 minutes creating a lot of opportunity but as you mentioned Doug Busker Wani, and we got ourselves a little Lane McDermott so to speak Lane McDermott and Luke Van Worker both have lost their buckets and McDermott has got some big rights coming over the top Van Worker standing with him McDermott is hammering with the right hand and Van Worker goes down at the board Oh, not the typical start to your uh, your period of play. Both those guys are going to give their teams a little jump start here for the second period. Well, they waited for the puck to drop, so five-minute majors are all will see. Hishon. Rishon, it goes just wide. Kept it in the corner. Aronson lost control of the puck. Taken away. Hishon. Looks to step out in front. Loose pack to the side. They score. And who gets it? Mike Lomas. And you know what? When we saw Mike Lomas get goals for the battalion, it was just like that. On the doorstep, that's where he makes his office. Well, Mike Lomas certainly, Doug, has been, uh, he's been buzzing tonight. In the first period, he has some chances. And uh, he's certainly been around the net at a nose for the net tonight. And Heshawn starts this play. And like you said, Right at the, on the doorstep, Mike Lomas, Alexander Erickson can't quite get to him in time. And he's right there to bang it in. No chance for Brandon Foote. And I was just going to mention to you before that happened as this game goes on. It's always big winning at home. Help bring out some of the hometown fans. Duchesne. Oh, nice job to get oh, around Durazio. What a play over for Dale. Inside oh. out. Jason Dale ties it. Fans here at the bunker standing up to show their appreciation. Unbelievable on both ends. Matthew Shane, beautiful spinorama move right there to set up Jason Dale, who goes in on the attack defender. The old how's she going? And then beats Tyler Beskerwani. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous goal by the battalion. They get a tie game at one. They got the monkey off their back. Let's see what happens if they can continue to press the opportunity a real real solid guy and a uh, real character player and he'll do well with the Ontario ring Grachev gets it back Erickson with the wrist shot that's blocked Erickson puts it back in the corner Duchesne Sam Carrick right on the doorstep Matt Duchesne steps out and beats Besker Wani it's 2-1 well Doug we had said how well Besker Wani plays the angles and it was going to have to take a very fine shot to beat him and who else better to do it than Matt Duchesne? And I'll tell you what, I'm coming off a fantastic rookie being, coming off a fantastic rookie campaign. Certainly seeming there'll be no sophomore jinx for Matt Duchesne. Absolutely fantastic potting his second goal of the season. Comes out from behind the net. Great patience. Waits for Besker wanting to make his move first. Then roofs it upstairs. And all of a sudden the battalion who gave up the first goal of this hockey game jump on top two to one. Stan Butler's gonna love seeing that. And it's finally played along the dasher. Kept in at the blue line. Weak shot to the front. Hits the post. Stays out of the net. Oh, my. That was a close call. And some extracurricular activities after the whistle there, Doug. Stephen Thorne is down there tangled up. I believe is that Cody that Musselman is Cody throwing Musselman. big rights on Stephon Thorne. And he's filling the youngster in on what the OHL is all about. Thorne's, Thorne's coming own, back, though. though. He gets a big right in, but Musselman is not letting go. And Thorne hanging on for dear life with a buck 47 left here in the second. Well, Stephon Thorne, welcome to the OHL and welcome to Cody Musselman's world. Nice job by Thorne. He held Absolutely. in there. He was down a little bit early, but Cody, he's just reminding the battalion fans of what he once brought to this team. Of course, a little the toughness, a little sandpaper mentality. But boy, oh boy, did the battalion get fortunate on that play, Doug. Off the Mose can't handle it at his own blue line. Paroff retreats inside his own zone. Final minute of play in the second period. Giveaway, they score! Tying the game is Garrett Wilson. What a huge goal for the Owen Sound attack. Wilson steals the errant puck of Kenny Paroff. 
We talked about the start for the Brampton Battalion. We also talked about the finish. A couple of Fridays ago, Doug, we were here for the home opener, and they gave up a goal real, real late in that second period to the Ottawa 67s, which is just a springboard for the 67s to go. Big stops now tonight for the big six foot five goaltender for Owen Sound. Tansky looking very comfortable on a line with Kyle mm. DeCosta and Luke Van Morker. Van Morker with the rear mm. shot. That goes wide. In front, mm. deflected right out. Rebound. Scores. Mm. Kyle DeCosta gets the battalion back on top. 3 2. You just said to your point, Doug, how comfortable Scott Tansky had looked on this line, the number 2 9 for the battalion tonight. And in the case for Kyle DeCosta, right place, right time. Kyle DeCost makes the count, beating Fesker Wani, who was down and out right there. But some fantastic work by the line of Van Moore, Kirk, Tansky, and the goal scorer, DeCost, put the battalion up 3-2, and that's answered my question. How would they respond to giving up that late goal at the end of the second period? Did a real nice job creating opportunities. Here's the game-winning goal, Kyle DeCost, like they say, when you go to the net, good things happen, and it did there to Kyle DeCost. Matt Duchesne with a pair of points, a goal and an assist. The Battalion win it 3-2. We're going to take a break here on OHL Primetime, brought to you by Tourism and Brampton. We're coming back with our wrap-up. Stay with us right here on Rogers TV. OHL primetime, the battalion take this one 3-2. Please be joined right now with the first star, Matt Shane. Matt, thanks very much for joining us. One goal, one assist, but uh, it wasn't easy. Busker Wani certainly uh, played a heck of a game against you. Yeah, he's a great goalie. Obviously, he's high. He's uh, He was drafted high in the draft, so um, he's a tough guy to play against. Uh, obviously, uh, after the loss to uh, Niagara, it's uh, good to come home and get a win uh, to, to even your record at 2-2. Two and two. Do, do you find that the team is uh, starting to come together a little bit now? Yeah, for sure. We're starting to realize that uh, maybe some of the guys that are way maybe aren't coming back. And uh, so Here comes the shaving cream again. <laughs> hey, I got the helmet. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> yeah, so do you. I oh, man. You know, you know Scott's upstairs. Scott Hart, the color guy, was just talking about that. He says he got the helmet on twice. I never got it once, but, uh, you know, I was thinking it was coming today. But uh, anyway, obviously, uh, it's got to feel pretty good. Gratchev adds a new dimension.